Hainanese chicken rice, guys, total classic, but so many things can go wrong. But we're gonna make the most perfectly juicy chicken, super tasty broth and chicken rice and sauce and all the things. <laughs> this is my version of Hainanese chicken rice. All right, guys, not gonna lie, there are quite a few different elements here that we have to perfect. Uh, there is the chicken, there is the rice, there is the soup, there are the sauces. Um, don't worry, we're gonna go on a bit of a journey together uh, and it is totally gonna be worth it in the end. Let's talk about the chicken first of all. I've got a couple of little you know, tips and tricks throughout this recipe that are gonna help you out a little bit. Uh, with the chicken, for me, I, a, a chicken on the smaller size is better for this. It works, uh, it cooks more evenly and more quickly uh, in, the, in the soup. This is about a 1.2 kilo chicken, so just so you know. Now, the first thing we wanna do is steal a little bit of chickeny fat and chicken skin from this guy because we need that to flavor our rice. Okay, so what you wanna do is get in here with your scissors and just chop off any little bits here at the end. You know, some little fatty bits, some skin bits, and then just save those for later. So yeah, any spare bits of fat or skin that you can find, I usually find there's like a little tiny bit just over here near the neck as well that you can grab hold of. Okay, so we've got a little bit of chicken fat and skin saved for our rice. Now what we wanna do is just give our guy a bit of a salt rub before we start poaching him. So you want a whole lot of salt here. I'm using a flaky sea salt, but you know, any kind of salt that you have at home is, is fine here. And just really kind of rub it in. And then now he's good to go. So let's have a chat about what's going on in my pot over here. And you can see that I have some stock that's already kind of a little bit warm in here. And here's the little secret, guys. If you are eating this dish in a hawker center in Singapore or Malaysia, uh, you're generally going to have some MSG in there, usually. And so when I was making this dish at home, I'm always like, how can I make it taste more like a hawker center style dish? And I don't use MSG at home, so the secret is to use some chicken stock cubes. That's right, guys, don't go for like some fancy, you know, really expensive uh, chicken stock. You just wanna go for some chicken stock cubes. Um, I use the all natural ones, so they don't have MSG either. And that is gonna start you off on the right foot here. All right, so we've got the stock cube giving us like the salty, savory umami flavors that we need for our chicken and our soup. But we need a few other things here to really make this super special. Um, and that is some ginger. Just a few slices. And then the other really defining characteristic for a Hainanese chicken rice, and so we've got the chickeny, we've got the gingery, and then you also need the spring oniony. Sure, it's not a word, I know, but whatever. You get what I mean. Um, so with the spring onion, I'm gonna use the pale part a little bit later on, and I just want the green tops right now. So just slice those greens and get those into your soup as well. All right, so we're now at like a super, super critical stage of our chicken rice recipe. So Hainanese chicken rice, the chicken at the end should be really soft and juicy and silky. Uh, and you get that by poaching really gently. And I mean really gently. What we wanna do is see just the tiniest, like the barest little whisper of bubbles coming up here. Uh, and I want that chicken to kind of luxuriate in that warm little bath for about 40 minutes. So while our chicken is doing its thing, we are gonna get started on making the green sauce, which is essentially like this really epic spring oniony, gingery, amazing little condiment. First of all, we wanna start off with a little bit of ginger, so just some finely chopped ginger. And then back to those spring onions we had earlier, I've got just the pale and a little bit of the green part here, and I just wanna finely chop those. Now I want a really good sprinkling of salt in here. And then you wanna pound this to like a fairly rough kind of paste. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, so this is the kind of situation that you're looking for here. Already it is smelling so beautiful. I love that ginger spring onion smell. Um, but what we need to do here is make some hot oil that's gonna pour over the top of this and make it into the sauce that we need. So what you need is a little bit of vegetable oil or canola oil or peanut oil, just like a neutral flavored oil. And then a little bit of sesame oil 
And now just heat this up for a, f a couple of minutes, you know, two or three minutes here. And now that I can see it's kind of just shimmering away, I'm gonna pour that over the spring onion. Oh, that sizzle is so satisfying. Uh, so that heat of that oil has like released even more of the spring onion and ginger flavors. And so just give that a mix. And now we have this beautiful little, almost like it's like an emulsion really. And um, if I just have a little taste here. Mm. So much flavor there, like such simple ingredients and you have beautiful like hint of onion and the garlic and it's salty as well and then the sesame oil ah everything perfect sauce I might just add a little bit more salt here just for a little bit of extra you know special and then I'm going to set that aside until later okay guys so we're on to our next element of this very special chicken rice dish and that is the rice so 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 important um, how do we get that beautiful kind of like it's almost like each rice grain should have a sheen of like chicken fat and we've got a little bit of a garlic flavor as well. So what we need to do is get started on getting that kind of chicken fat flavor. So we've got our little bits and pieces that we took off the chicken earlier. So I want to get that into a saucepan. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of oil here to kind of get things going. And now turn this onto like a low-ish heat. What I want is for that chicken to have time to render out all its deliciousness uh, before it gets too brown or, or burnt. So you want these guys in here for at least 10 minutes. Okay, so while that chicken fat is doing its thing and sizzling away, uh, let's come back and have a look at our chicken. So this guy has had the 40 minutes simmering away in that soup. What I want to do now is turn the heat off and just pop a lid on and just let him sit in there for another like 20 minutes just to make sure that the chicken is cooked all the way through but but really gently again we're going with the gentle heat the gentle cooking this chicken is getting so much love my goodness all right so we are looking very brown and golden in here with our little chicken bits and pieces so i'm going to take these guys out and you know who's going to be eating those little bits and pieces later on uh that would be me um, but let's get back to uh the lovely little sheen of oil and fat that we have in our pan here this is going to make a great base for our chicken rice so i want to grab my garlic the garlic is kind of you know not all i would say not all chicken rice recipes put the garlic in here but i like it you could leave it out if you want to uh, and just add the rice in but i'm going to go with garlic And now the rice. So I'm using Thai jasmine rice. Um, a, a long grain rice is really what you want here. Uh, now just pour that in and you really want to give that a mix so that each little rice grain is getting a little bit of love from that chicken fat and the oil and the garlic. All right, so now this rice needs to borrow a little bit of stock from our chicken. So let's uncover this guy. And then I've got two cups of rice in here. So I want two and a half cups of the stock. And now what you want to do is wait for that rice to kind of absorb most of the stock. You'll see what I mean. Give it about 10 minutes on like a medium heat and then we'll come back and have a look. Okay, so now you can see most of that liquid's been absorbed, but the rice is still quite firm. It's not quite cooked through. So I want you to put the lid on. And now turn the heat down really low and let that cook for another 10 minutes. All right, so let's get back to our chicken, guys. I know, so many different elements today, but we're nearly there, I promise. Uh, now have a look in here. You can see that the leg joints are kind of starting to come away from the body. Now that tells me that that chicken is pretty well cooked um, and I don't want to overcook it for sure. So let's get him out. And now while our chicken's cooling down a little, I'm gonna strain off our stock. Okay, so now we're getting to the stage where, you know, like you're in the hawker center and the guy's like bang, 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 bang. He's like chopping the chicken. Okay, so we're not quite gonna, you know, do, do it like that, but uh, I'll show you an easy way you can do it at home. Uh, grab a hold of your chicken. Try not to like break that beautiful skin that's on the top of the chicken breast. Now you wanna start by getting in here where the leg joint is. 
just slice through. Oh, look at how juicy that chicken is. And it should literally almost just pull apart at the end here and then pull off that leg. Now do the other side. And then for the chicken breast, you wanna start through the middle or just off the center to the middle and just slice through there. And then just kind of run your knife down along that bone and just keep pulling that breast off. And then just a little snap through the end. And there you have your chicken breast. Same on the other side. And now guys, this is totally what I'm talking about with, you know, that beautiful, just cooked, you know, still juicy kind of chicken. Like you can see that that skin is really nice and shiny and, you know, that meat looks really nice and tender, not overcooked at all. One last thing we're gonna do here though, to give our chicken a little extra special something something is um, add a little bit of sesame oil. So I just want you to drizzle some sesame oil and rub that all over. Okay, so now that this chicken has literally been like massaged, poached, all things, <laughs> we're gonna slice, finish off the slicing just through the breast here. And through that thigh joint. And now guys, we are finally ready to assemble our dish. Let's have a look at our rice. Now, you just want to use a fork and fluff up those grains. And then scoop some rice into a little bowl. I mean, you know, this is totally OTT, but like it's the way you get it in a hawker centre. So, you know, I like to do it this way. And then tip that out onto your plate. And now you want some of your chicken. I like to do a mix of sliced breast and thigh meat here. And now for the condiments, we've got our green sauce that we made. And then I always like to have a little bit of chili here. I'm just using like a sambal olic, but you could use a Chinese garlic and chili paste as well. Still what's fine for this one, guys. And some cucumber. Now don't forget that amazing chicken broth. And then one final thing, just a little drizzle of some sweet soy sauce on the chicken. And there you go guys, a very classic Hainanese chicken rice. Yes, a lot of steps, a lot of bits and pieces to get right, but wow, this is really gonna be worth it. All right, I want some chicken, all the bits and pieces. Okay, so literally like the perfect mouthful right now. Oh, so good. Mm. Guys, if you have never tried Hainanese chicken rice, you need to make this. I mean, there is so much going on there. That amazing like spring onion, ginger sauce, and then that chili. Mm. And the chicken is so beautifully silky and soft. It is just perfect. And then kind of had a little, have a little mouthful of soup in between. Mm. Perfectly soothing and chickeny and amazing. Wow, guys, this really is a keeper dish. Ugh. I am going to enjoy eating this entire thing. Mm. Yum. 